Hello everyone and welcome to this video on integrating Power BI with other applications. I am Tim Weinzappel and in this video I am going to continue showing how you can use Power Automate to send automated emails. Now I've done a couple of videos on this and this is episode 9 and in this one I'm going to talk about how you can actually improve the format of the emails using HTML. But just to give a quick recap of this concept of sending emails directly from your Power BI report using Power Automate, let's do a quick recap of that video. So let me give a quick example and show what I mean by sending automated email. So I've got a sample report up here, and I'm actually in the Power BI uh, service, so I've got this thing, this published. And let's say um, this is data of projects and I have the project title, the project manager, um, and these are just some fake emails. But let's say I wanted to send emails to this list to get an update. So let's say every week I send a standard email to the project manager and I want an update on the project. Now, um, what I've got here is I've got a, a button up here and I can, I've got a Power Automate flow uh, built into this report. So all I have to do now, I can select individuals, but I'll just, I'm going to leave this table as is. And I'm going to go ahead and push the button here. And what it's doing is it's going to send um, an email. And I have it actually set to send to me rather than going to all of these fake emails. So just assume that all of these emails that are coming in would go to the, the project manager. So um, I'm going to jump over to my email and you'll see all of a sudden I've got lots of emails in here. So I've got a project here uh, and it'll say, you know, the person's name, please provide an update for the project. Um, and then I've embedded in this example, just like what the email address would be just to show that. And I'll see, you'll see for each one, it's the same standard email, but what you're seeing changed is the name, the project, uh, you know, the project name, I've even got this bolded uh, and so on. So I can scroll through here and it's gone through and sent all of these out. And all of this was done in Power Automate. So, so what I want to do in this video is to show how you can apply better formatting to make those emails look a lot more professional and perhaps add even in additional information. Okay, so let me give an example of how you can apply better formatting in your emails that you are creating through your Power Automate flow. So here's my sample table that I have. And let's say I want to send an email to this first individual. Now I could certainly select multiple, but we only need one for right now. And I'll go up here and I will click my send emails. And again, I have this little confirmation box. I covered creating one of these in a previous video. So be sure to check that out. But let me go ahead and send the email. And we'll now jump over to my Outlook and let's take a look when it comes in. So now it's coming up. Now I've gotten two emails because I wanna show this first example is right here. This is a standard email that I created before. Now again, I'm using some of the dynamic content from my report. So that I'm pulling in the project manager name here. And then I'm also including the uh, title of the project. And I've added some bold here. So I could certainly add some limited formatting in my email, but what I really want to do is actually add some better formatting. Now I've got a sample one up here and you're going to see here a couple of things. First of all, I've got a table. I've got the table. I've got a green background. Uh, the start and end date, just ignore the formatting. Those I would clean up, but for purposes of this, I'm just going to leave them be. But I've actually put this information in a table format. Now I've also included a hyperlink. Now again, this is just a sample of hyperlink. Um, but I'm using it as an example that you can include. I've also added a picture. So if for those of you who are Pokemon fans, this is Pikachu. Um, and I, you can see how I've included that as well. So let's say you have a company logo or you have an image or something else, including if it's dynamic images that perhaps are coming from your report. So you've got a lot more flexibility that you can apply in your emails simply using HTML code. So let me show you just how easy this is to do. So I've jumped back over to Power BI Desktop and let's go ahead and look at that flow. Now, I am using a flow that I created uh, from one of my previous videos. So again, be sure to check that out. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna, um, I actually have to open up 
my little confirmation box because this button here is where my Power Automate Flow button is. So I'm going to go ahead in here and edit this. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. All right, and I've got the flow already created and I'm going to walk through this. So let's go ahead and edit this. Now we've got two versions. This is the um, first one. Again, this was the standard one using the send, it, uh, I'm using the send an email step. But you'll see right here, this is the sort of the standard box and you do get some formatting. You can change font, uh, you know, do bold italics uh, and so on. You can even include a hyperlink. But in my case, I want to actually apply HTML coding. Now, if you're not familiar with HTML coding, don't worry. There is actually um, a lot of just cutting and pasting. Uh, if you are familiar with HTML coding and including um, cascading style uh, sheets, uh, it certainly does make it a lot easier for you to do this. So let's jump over to my other example here. Same exact step. Uh, I've expanded it. Now, what you're going to see is you're going to see some HTML coding. Now, the way to get to this is there is a toggle button here. So there is a code view and you can certainly click on this. And if you uh, and you can get to this is now the code view and you'll see some HTML coding here as well. And if I want to switch back here, I can simply go back to this view. So again, this little uh, icon up here can switch back and forth. Forth. However, so what I've done in this example over here is I've switched over to the code view and then I've went ahead and I can just I've just started typing. Now, in this case, I am using this section up here is just some uh, cascading style. This is some, you know, uh, CSS uh, style format. Let me get rid of this dynamic content here. And then I've got some style here where I am creating setting different styles for the table. So I want to give it a border, I want to give it a padding and, you know, and so on. And I can also give it a background color. So this is the style that I have created. And then I go simply go down to my, um, my email and it's very similar above. You're going to see a lot of the, this coding that's very similar. And then I've just simply added in my uh, table from my HTML uh, coding and it'll apply the styles above. Um, Give you a couple of additional examples. I'm adding the hyperlink, and then you can even use other HTML tags. Again, in this example, I'm using images, and you could continue to do a lot more. So the bottom line on this is that if I'm going to scroll back up here, this when you're when you are looking at your um, the body here, this section up here, this code view allows you that deeper access to add in HTML. Um, capability. Now, one other trick, and this is something I use because it has been uh, quite a while since I've been um, doing some HTML, is uh, let me jump over to, uh, you know, here's a great site. This is w3schools.com, and you can go in here. Um, there's a lot of information around HTMLs, uh, cascading style sheets, and you can even, um, I've even done some Googling and even just cut and pasted some, uh, some formatting. So, a great way to really dig around and um, apply some of this HTML coding. But that is all you need to do to then apply this improved formatting to your emails. I am going to say one word of caution though. If I'm using this example here where I showed how you can toggle between the code view and the HTML. Uh, HTML view, you'll notice here, this is grayed out. I'm no longer allowed to switch back and forth. Uh, I have found once you start adding in more HTML coding, it does not allow you to go back to that standard view. So just be aware of that. So as you can see, it's really easy to just add better formatting and make those emails look more professional all within Power Automate. So hopefully you found this very helpful. Um, and I'm going to continue doing more videos on how you can integrate Power BI with Power Automate. And eventually we're going to move into things like Power Apps. So if you really like this content and you're finding it helpful, please make sure to subscribe. And thank you for watching.